Michael. It's me again. I decided to read some revenge stories on Reddit as far as that goes. And this one kind of caught my eyes from Nuclear Revenge, which is... Irritating vegan Tim takes office pranks way too far, so I destroy her entire life paradigm. So, anyways, um... I'm going to preface this sort of thing here because I, I don't really have any problems with vegans unless if they're the usual stereotype ones that force uh, uh, cats to be vegan or something like that. But that was like another story altogether on on a different subreddit, you know, about, about that one woman who got a cat and then fed like these little chicken scraps or something like that, you know. And then her fan, her friends all gave her flack because of of that, you know, simply because she's respecting that cat's uh, dietary preferences. And there was another story that was like similar to that, you know, where or somebody was going to report their friend for not feeding cat like meat because simply, you know, because they wanted to force it to be vegan and all that. Yeah, but anyways, um, I'll just have to start up this sort of thing here. So, it goes, just found a sub and couldn't stop reading and felt like I can completely share this one. My more epic revenge tales from about eight years ago. TLDR at the bottom. At the time, I was... 27, a seven-year-old veteran at a large tech corporation, a senior designer of communications team. By then, the senior copywriter went on mat, mat leave, maternity leave, I should say, leaving the place, leaving the temp in her place. Although irritating, non-descriptive way she pretend, presented to be seemed to be confident enough for the latter for the latter context, she was also an uber dog letter, staunch, righteous vegan SJW. There were frequent mutual innocent team pranks, replacing a box of the diet cookies, a box of Krispy Kremes covering of the laser mouse, like, oh, you dog, you got me, kind of things, but not to... But now let's fix this to get back to work. Being desperate for exception, acceptance, new Tim started taking things a bit too far. It seemed to be focused pranks on directly towards me. Even after subtle reprimands and being, uh, things like sipping inappropriate photos and comments about her PowerPoint presentation on Share Drive, I was about to... I was about to give or fake crying during the morning stand-up just to gauge her reactions. Her novelty, her novelty wore off fast. Fast forward the morning after my birthday. She knew I was going to be hungover. I get on my desk and red-eyed, thirsty as hell. I grabbed my water bottle at my desk, which was always kept full. Started chuckling on water like it was going to save my life. It was, it was straight vodka, just about two swallows that I realized. I go straight to my garbage bin and throw up a slurry of alphabet soup, at least six cans of beer, and God knows what else she put there. Made a damn thing sure I did hurt. I got most of the vodka out right. Uh, but I'm already hungover and made me instantly drink it again. Was not impressed. She came in laughing at Brands uh, taking the full claim. I didn't narc on her, but the story made it, its rounds to HR and she was given a stern warning. I would have also accepted an apology even remorse but not a shred of the fact that she started calling me pukey mcgee to literally everyone's fanfare i let it pass for a few weeks waiting for the attention to die down period 
Revenge Day had finally arrived. She left. She had left 10 a.m. to get to Starbucks. Starbucks. At this time, plaster lost out posters everywhere outside her office made her stumble upon her way back and she fell for the bait and I was asking her but no one was to rise her. Okay, then let's see. Once she was cozy at her desk, I went to stage a hit and run massacre with chunks of fatty steak and a litter of fake blood and an old leash collar and bag of fake fur and went to work. Oh God, this is just. I sure to pick. It is long gone and very convincing. Looked like the leash got caught around her real passenger axle. The dog was clogged and shredded between the tire. Well, I left the collar dinging out, dangling out the back, and particularly generous portion of all the gore puddle of blood. Come on, let me move down. I didn't. It didn't take long for others to notice the lost dog posters and a gory car pulled over, put two and two together. The owner of the white of the white was so was so and so with the license plate was so. Please come to the reception. The intercom was on. It was delicious. She went out and a lot sobbing, and she was coughing. Carefully placed the chunks of blood, furry gore in the box, and took her out to gather every ridiculous, precious bit that she wanted to return the dog to its owner the best she could before calling the number on the poster. It was a shame. It was a shame. There was no owner or a dog. But she was too distraught to realize it was fake. I thought it was sure the lack of bones, guts, and honestly it was fake. A sticky stage of blood it would be the rear instant giveaway, but my utter shock. It wasn't the scenario wasn't ever as expensive, just welcome just the same. Okay, come on. Let me move down. Whoops. Okay, let's. Okay, um, here we go. It was assumed that the doctor owner had printed the wrong number on the poster because the remains were never returned. She had a collar, a leash, and cleaned and posted. Posters were on, hoping to find the owner. Given her reputation, wasn't that much sympathy offered. The righteous vegan dog lover was now a dog killer, and I took every chance to could remind her of that. Okay. She took down... Come on, come on. She took down all nearly got, gaudy dog lover crap off her, off her desk and kept very much to herself for the remainder of her turn. Bonus, she... Even left early, but not sure if she took credit for what was certain. For that certain. TLDR, office temp, replaced my water with straight vodka, and I was hung over. when I was hung over, I convinced her that the entire office that she killed a dog. Well, that is kind of brutal in a way as far as that goes. Do I think it kind of belongs on Nuclear Revenge? I think it does in some ways because it's it's a little bit more than just per revenge. But as far as like the principle of it, you know, Nuclear Revenge is basically the cases of that where you're kind of going a little bit crossing the line to get revenge on somebody there. You know, but it's... Whether it's like the legality top of line, you know, being kind of what is legal or illegal, but what is, uh, uh, what do they call it? It's not, not moral, but reprehensible, but it, I mean, 
I mean, the ethical lines in order to do that. And in some ways, that is just kind of like the case when it comes to nuclear revenge. You're crossing that that ethical and legal line to get that revenge. Pro revenge is just basically just shy of that. Regular revenge is just kind of more or less, more or less, and not as much. And then there's petty revenge, which is kind of really small. And then, whereas beyond nuclear revenge is like, I think it was black hole revenge. And then there's like supernova revenge, which is supposed to be like even more than that. Then there's like singularity revenge, which was supposed to be like even bigger than that. You know, but some of the whole stories like that can be a bit grueling and all that there, but but if anybody kind of wants me to like read more like nuclear revenge stories or even black hole revenge or or uh, supernova revenge or um, even the singularity revenge stories let me know so anyways I guess that's it.